your screen and starting your presentation. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Bianca. Um, yeah, so my presentation is about visualizing open Alex data with Fosh Viewer. For those of you who are not familiar with Fosh Viewer, Fosh Viewer is a tool uh, that can be used to analyze and visualize scientific literature. So you can use the tool, for example, to get a quick overview of the main topics that are discussed in the scientific literature to see how those topics uh, are related to each other. Uh, or, for example, to get an overview of the main actors uh, and how those main actors, how they collaborate with each other. Um, on this slide, we see a screenshot of the user interface of Force Viewer. Um, in the visualization, uh, we see in this case uh, um, a co-citation network of journals in the field of uh, economics and management. So in this case, we see that Force Viewer has identified uh, five main groups of uh, journals in this field. Um, so we see, for example, the finance and accounting journals uh, in purple. Uh, in red, we see economics. In green, management. Yellow, marketing. And blue, operations research. Um, now, the tool has uh, interactive functionality available that can be used to, um, to interactively um, explore the visualization in more detail. And that also helps to give a better interpretation to, uh, to the visualization. Fosfior is most, uh, mostly used by uh, individual researchers, researchers uh, that uh, want to know more about their own field of science in which they are active, to have an overview of uh, important uh, papers, uh, to see connections between papers, or perhaps to, to study how, uh, how researchers, how they collaborate. But the tool is also used by uh, research managers, institutions, funders, publishers, uh, and many other users. The tool um, supports uh, a large number of data sources. Uh, but well, today we will focus, of course, on OpenAlex. Um, in the case of OpenAlex, we have implemented uh, a direct connection between OpenAlex and, and Voice Viewer. Um, so we make use uh, of the API provided by, uh, by OpenAlex. In Fosh Viewer, um, different types of networks uh, can be extracted from the bibliographic data, um, and those networks can be visualized. In the case of Fosh Viewer, we have support for citation networks uh, that are really helpful to, to see connections between papers or journals, um, how they are related to each other. We have support for the co-authorship networks to study how authors, how organizations, how they collaborate. We have support for bibliographic coupling networks. And finally, also the co-occurrence networks of keywords and terms extracted from titles and abstracts. Uh, and these types of networks are especially helpful to get an overview of important topics and to see how those topics are related to each other. So I will now switch um, to the Open Alex web interface uh, and the Voice Viewer tool. Uh, and then I will demonstrate um, how you can uh, make use of uh, both tools uh, in a combined way. So I will now go to my browser. Um, and in my browser, I have the Open Alex and web interface open. And what we can do now is we can, um, we can uh, um, start to select um, or to filter um, on a particular topic. So suppose we are interested to study uh, the field of scientometrics in more detail. Uh, so suppose we are interested to have an overview of the most important uh, publications or the most highly cited publications and to see how they are connected. Now, one search strategy that we can follow is, for example, to search by uh, source. Uh, so we can search for all the publications published in Scientometrics. And let's also add a Journal of Infometrics. And finally, uh, Quantitative Science Studies. And let's also uh, filter based uh, on type. So let's only include articles and reviews. 
and then we have uh, about um, well, we have nine thousand uh, three hundred sixty-nine uh, works, um, and let's now try to create a visualization based on those nine thousand uh, works that we just selected in the uh, OpenAlex web interface. So what we can do in the OpenAlex web interface is we can make the API query URL visible. So over here. And we can copy this URL. And then we go to Voice Viewer. So here we have the Voice Viewer tool. And we can always use the Create button to create a new visualization. So that is what we are going to do. And then we enter a wizard um, that can be used to create a new visualization. So in this case, we are going to create a map uh, based on bibliographic data. We are going to use the API of OpenAlex. And then actually we have uh, four different uh, options available. So we can uh, make use of the API request URL that we just uh, generated. But we have also uh, a simple form available uh, that you can use to immediately search for um, works in Viewer itself. You can also upload a DUI file, so a file containing DUIs or you can upload your uh, open Alex JSON files directly. But in this case, um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, this first option, uh, the API request URL. So I will paste this URL in, in, the, in the input box and then we click next. And then in the background, um, the metadata on uh, all, the all the selected publications uh, is retrieved from the API. So we see that we have exactly the same number now. So 9,369 documents. And now we have also all the metadata available in Voice Viewer. And based on the metadata on, of those publications, we can start to create uh, the network and, and to visualize it. So in this next step, we um, can choose the type of analysis and the unit of analysis. So we are interested to see um, the most highly cited publications um, and how they are connected. So I will choose for bibliographic coupling uh, at the document level in this case. And I'm going to focus on really the most highly cited publications in this data set. So uh, publications with uh, at least 150 citations. And then we have about uh, 250 publications left. And then we can immediately visualize those 250 publications uh, and also uh, the citation connections between those publications. So here we see the result. Uh, so each bubble is a publication and uh, two publications are connected when they uh, cite the same literature. And then we can start um, exploring the visualization using the interactive functionality. So one thing that we can do is we can hover the mouse over a publication and then more detailed information on the publication is at the bottom. Uh, so we can, for example, look at the title to have an idea about uh, well, the topic of this paper, but also then to have an idea uh, about the topic of this whole cluster in orange. So this paper is about Google Scholar uh, Microsoft Academic Scopus Dimensions. This one is about Google Scholar Scopus Web of Science. So it seems that this orange cluster, it is really about bibliographic uh, data sources. In purple, we see, for example, publications on the H index, uh, the G index. Uh, so this is about bibliometric indicators. So this is how you can, um, well, make use of the interactive functionality. Um, we also see some publications with many connections, and that is typically then an indication that it is a review publication. So we see one over here uh, and another one over here. So let's go back to the Open Alex uh, web interface because, um, well, we have already um, seen several publications or presentations today focusing on the topic. So that could be another approach to um, have one minute left. Yeah, to delineate uh, a field. Um, so we can use, we can search for the topic uh, bibliometric analysis and research evaluation. 
And then again, we can copy the link, um, go to Voice Viewer, and create a uh, retrieve the data. Um, yeah, so I, I will skip uh, this uh, this one and I will go to the slides again um, because of time. Uh, but well, the idea is that you can really make use of uh, the user interface of uh, Open Alex to uh, to perform your search to make uh, a selection of the publications that you are uh, that you are interested in, and then in Voice View you can immediately start analyzing those publications. There are also large scale applications possible. Um, so visualizations uh, that are based on millions of publications. So we see some examples over here. And um, yeah, I really would like to encourage you all to do it yourself. Um, so we have free data available, open Alex data. We have a free tool for Sphere. Um, so we have all the, all the things that we need to, uh, to get started.